This is SCP-682. SCP-682 must be destroyed as soon as possible. Okay, so they already so want to get rid the of it. SCP Foundation file on the dreaded SCP-682. It a looks terrifying. Look at that. It looks like a giant crocodile, but it's like it, it's like furry. It actually has like a spine bone sticking out of it. Its ribs are exposed. So its nickname is the hard to destroy reptile. Obviously, it looks like a reptile, but supposedly this thing is practically impossible to get rid of. Begins the SCP Foundation file on the dreaded SCP-682, a highly intelligent reptilian monster that has, despite the Foundation's best efforts, proved impossible to kill. They're it just pointing the a bunch of guns at it. SCP What's that there, gonna do? Considering that some are capable of eliminating entire realities, Wait, it's what? one of the most iconic. And you've probably heard tales of the monster that death forgot, and you know exactly why everyone is so afraid of the so-called hard-to-kill reptile. It's so this SCP is, in the SCP universe, one of the most dangerous SCPs, since there isn't really a way to get rid of it. Yeah, if I was a D-class personnel, I would not want to go near this thing. Foundation could devise. They got lasers? Attacks from some of its the statue? Fellow SCPs. But it, before oh, we they tell can't you even about touch the Foundation's it. many failed assassination attempts against the so-called hard-to-kill reptile, I wonder if Shy Guy could beat it up. We need a little more groundwork on what this creature even is. The first thing to know about SCP-682 is that this thing wants you and everything you know dead. All right, well, that's enough for today. I don't want to learn about this thing anymore. It wants me dead. And you can't even destroy the thing. So how am I supposed to fight back if I ever encounter it? I know it's not real, Unlike but in my nightmares, like I don't SCP know that it's not real. It's going to pop up there, I know for sure. Which are murderous, but murderous. no real higher processing skills. All right, so they're just SCP murdering monsters. SCP-682 possesses cunning, awesome. advanced reasoning, and even human-level logical intelligence. That's creepy. SCP-682 can engage you in conversation, but just talking to the what? creature calmly and cordially will sometimes cause it to enter its rage state. What? It becomes even more dangerous and... So you're saying I could be sipping a coffee, having a casual conversation with the SCP-682, and that would cause it to get angry, even though it's talking back to me. We could be talking about the weather. I'm like, hey, you know, what a, what a great, fantastic day we're having today. And it gets so mad that it just kills me. I don't like this thing. The perpetually kept in a tank of powerful hydrochloric acid, melting its tissue to prevent it from reaching its full so, potential and wait a going second, so on a rampage. How do the you creature's kill this most thing? terrifying asset, and the reason it's proven impossible to terminate thus far, is its incredible adaptability to any and all external It just gained stimuli. armor. It just turned into steel. Is a it's like Wolverine. Being, capable of not only surviving and regenerating from all attacks, but often incorporating those attacks into its own Yo, this arsenal. thing should be in, in X-Men Academy. If you're hoping to kill this thing, you better kill it on the first hit. If how are you, you gonna kill it though? You better believe it's gonna. By the end of the day, I hope we learn how we kill harder. this thing, so I know how to get rid this of it. This brings us to the main event: some of the SCP Foundation's most ambitious and frightening attempts to terminate SCP-682, or even understand how it could theoretically be terminated. There are quite literally too many unsuccessful attempts for us to list them all here. So okay. think of this as a highlight reel of the Foundation's most prominent failures. So they don't even know of a way to kill this thing. Or at least that's that's what they're saying. Is like they have a ton of epic fails of different ways that they've tried to kill this thing. They've probably tried lasers. They've tried guns. They've tried bombs. Have they tried a nuclear bomb? Because that could be pretty effective. 682 was first cross-tested with SCP-017, a humanoid shadow entity shown to be able to consume matter with its shadows and leave no traces oh, behind. Oh, all right, so it's like a black Test hole shadow. Tissue samples from 682 showed that SCP-017 was able to consume said tissues with no adverse effects. Okay, so can it However, just eat when SCP-017 was placed into the containment chamber with the actual creature, okay. 682 let out a horrific roar that was so loud it damaged nearby audio equipment. SCP-017 fled to the corner of the room, and 682, in its rage state, attempted to breach containment. Oh my gosh, it got so mad that it, it almost killed a shadow. No meaningful damage was logged. Attempt failed. Yeah, SCP attempt failed horribly. The killer statue was later brought in, hoping that its thus far impeccable track record for killing would hold strong. The second that 173 was introduced into the testing area, what 682 happens? retreated to the far wall and began screeching intensely. It was okay. intelligent enough to know what it was dealing with here. While the researchers and guards expected an instantaneous reaction, there was actually a stalemate for over six hours. Six hours! So for those of you guys that don't know about the statue SCP, as long as you look at it, then it won't attack. It's kind of like a weeping angel in that way. So I guess the SCP, 
the hard to destroy reptile just stared at the statue and nothing happened. He has 999 IQ. At 173 continuously. Eventually, the tie was broken when agents shot out 682's eyes with high caliber sniper oh, rifles. Oh, snap. Breaking the line of sight and causing 173 to attack. Holy Those smokes! 682 sustained damage to several parts of its body. While its eyes regenerated, the creature was not killed. It then regenerated a number of eyes all over its body, covered what? in a clear armored carapace that made them resistant to bullets. Oh my god, okay, so this thing is highly adaptable. They said that earlier, but this just takes it to the next level. It just has eyeballs all over its body now so that it can stare at the statue SCP and that it can no longer be attacked by it. The stalemate continued for an additional 12 hours as 682 maintained perpetual eye contact. 173 was eventually removed from the containment unit, and the mission was aborted. Attempt failed. Attempt In their failed, for sure. The SCP Foundation restored to bringing in another dangerous and seemingly unkillable monster to take on 682. SCP-096. Yes, my boy! The Shy Guy. Shy Guy, as astute dangerous. SCP fans will already know, this being kills anything that sees its face. Yeah! With no known exceptions. And when it enters its attack mode, it's thought to be quite literally unstoppable this thing one time somebody looked at it went deep into a submarine in the ocean and somehow shy guy scp broke out of its containment zone and it traveled all the way into the ocean just to kill the person that looked at it that is the ultimate level of shyness and when it enters its attack mode it's thought to be quite literally unstoppable or at least it was. While SCP-096 okay. was able to destroy 85% of 682's original body oh. mass during their 27 hour battle, 27 hours? it was left mentally broken, no way, and huddled in the corner. To this day, if ever confronted with SCP-682, the Shy Guy reacts in pure terror, turning away and clawing at its own face. That's the only time that Shy Guy has been beat. SCP-682 is built different. Turning away and clawing at its own face. That's crazy. Attempt failed. I honestly thought During the Shy Guy would stand a better chance. SCP-682 also went head-to-head -head organically with another iconic SCP Hall of Famer, SCP-106, also Wait. known as the Old Man. Oh, the Old, the man old Man's crazy powerful. The anomaly known as SCP-953 broke into 682's containment cell. The Old Man pulled both of his fellow anomalous combatants into his pocket dimension to continue the battle on his terms. However, despite losing 67% of his body mass during the ensuing pocket dimension showdown, 682 still How? prevailed. How is that possible? So the other SCPs, they're doing tons of damage to the hard to destroy reptile, but none of them have been able to 100% destroy it. So far, Shy Guy got the closest. He did 85% damage, but you know, he still, it, was, it ended up being a stalemate, so nobody technically won or lost there. Body mass during the ensuing pocket dimension showdown, 682 still prevailed, with the old man eventually fleeing back to his cell. They just ran away! Being collected and taken away by agents. No Once way. Once again, SCP 682 continued to hold the title. I can't but believe it's it so a what can beat this thing? Experiments, intentional or otherwise. The SCP Foundation's quest to kill 682 led them to a number of more conventional murder methods. All nuclear bombs! Nuclear bombs! Nuclear bombs! Due to SCP 682's highly adaptive abilities, some methods were discounted from the outset. Like what? For example, launching oh. a powerful thermonuclear <laughs> missile at the creature was soundly rejected by O5 Command. Crap. On the premise that if the creature wasn't destroyed and evolved to the point where it could shrug off nukes, oh, humanity true. would be pretty much done for. Yeah, Other that would basically be Godzilla. Just for being too ridiculous such as one researcher's suggestion to fly the creature through the air and drop it from a considerable height, hoping to kill it with a high altitude impact. Uh, yeah, I don't I'm think that sure it would die. I'm not sure we need to tell you why that's a terrible idea, but during the experiments on SCP-682, the studies range from honest to incompetent to straight-up evil. Like what? One guest researcher fed two small innocent children to the creature Yo! just to see what would happen. Why? He was then himself- What do you think is going to happen, my guy? This man just, he just let two children go into a containment center with the strongest, most dangerous SCP creature. Just to see what would that happen. That man should go he to was jail. He himself fed to the creature for okay. his sadistic behavior. Yeah, that's, okay, good. That's worse than jail. Which was the way of his professional conduct. After all, the foundation is meant to be cold, not cruel. It was SCP-682 that had the monopoly on cruelty. Mimetic kill agents were a resounding failure. 
They attempted to dismember 682 with a powerful laser, only There's, to have yeah, the creature develop work. reflective services that displace the beam and cause Nothing can kill it. damage to the area around Nothing it. Nothing at they all! They attempted to kill the creature by sucking all the air out of its containment facility and It just adapted, vacuum, didn't it? But it expelled a dangerous, gaseous compound that reacted violently and exploded no way. when air was once again introduced into Holy the room. Holy smokes! The foundation used high-precision blades to slice SCP-682 into approximately 12,000 pieces. Then Wait, so they're, they're actually able to chop it up. Like, they could do damage to this thing, but it either regenerates, it adapts, or it just eventually just, you know, turns into something that it wasn't before and just becomes way too powerful. Approximately 12,000 pieces. Right now, yeah, it's, it's literally, pieces. it's separated. Unsurprisingly, by this point, this attempt also failed. Did it multiply? 12,000 pieces reformed a short while later into no the fully way. operational killing machine. We no all know way. Here. In one particularly frightening display of intelligence and adaptability, the Foundation attempted to kill 682 with extreme heat, but it shielded itself by developing a second car pace composed of solid helium. When personnel entered the room okay. following the failed attempt on the creature's life, it shattered its helium carapace into deadly shards that fired around the room and shredded all Foundation personnel in attendance. What? It had set a trap, and that trap had been wildly successful. The creature's ability I to can't adapt to seemingly thing. any offense is unparalleled. I've never seen an SCP like this before, and that's why this is the strongest SCP, at least that I've seen. To the point where Foundation staff have no idea how to classify this creature, whether it's organic, inorganic, or even alive at all based on any definitions we could understand. At every turn, the creature just raised more questions. What is it? Is it possible I don't know. to destroy it at all by any no. means? No, no, the answer is no. Who here? Because I think they're trying to kill like it. SCP-682 had a masterful KD ratio by now. Yeah, More he's got he's got a, a nuke at this continued point. Continued in the Foundation's growing desperation to eliminate this He's got kill streaks on top of kill streaks. SCP-162, which is a hypnotic ball of sharp objects, hooks, and high-tension fishing line, was introduced to 682's containment cell. The hooks latched onto the creature Ew. and tore huge oh, portions that's, off, uh, that looks including horrible. its entire lower jaw and one of its limbs. However, 682 was still able to breach containment, kill 11 people, and badly wound 86 others. They should stop messing with this thing. Every time they try to do an experiment on it, somebody ends up dead. So, like, they should just leave it in its, like, its pool of acid that they normally put it in just to keep it at bay. And then just leave it. Just, like, stop messing with it. Just secure, contain, and protect it. Do not do any more tests on this thing. And badly wound 86 others. It regenerated its severe injuries in no time. The beast was even taken to the domain of the Gate Guardian, one of the proposals for SCP-001. The Guardian had a flaming sword hotter than the sun, capable okay. of destroying its targets on an atomic level. Okay, kill it! Naturally, SCP-682 survived and regenerated. Bro, Perhaps how does it keep living? The most test of all was between 682 and SCP-053, who manifests as a kind, innocent little girl with the unfortunate condition of causing homicidal tendencies in all who come into contact with her for more than 10 minutes. Yo, she's crazy. She she causes people to literally go, to go crazily insane to the point where they just want to kill people. And all who come into contact with her but for I know more that than 10 minutes. This SCP is also practically the invincible with too. these tendencies would then attempt to harm the girl, but would immediately drop dead shortly after, leaving the girl intact. Okay, the researchers so let's see what happens here. anticipated two possible outcomes here. The optimistic outcome, in which 682 enters a rage state, attacks 053, and died for good. And the I realistic don't think that's outcome, going to happen. in which 682 attacks 053, possibly experiencing some minor injury or nothing at all, and 053 had to be removed from the containment cell. Or they probably but just don't even attack happen. it. What right? did occur was considerably more shocking than any kind of violence. When did they team up together? Entered 682's containment did she like ride on its back like a horse? Uncharacteristically docile. Oh, Researchers weird. and staff were baffled and watched with amazement as 053 approached the terrifying, immortal, mass murdering monster and began to play with it. 682 even allowed what? 053 to draw on its face with crayons. Yo, they teamed up together to create the SCP Wombo Combo to play with it. 682 even allowed 053 to draw on its face with crayons. Researchers thought they must have been dreaming seeing this surreal display play out. 053 even appeared to have affection for this unkillable misanthrope. It was a single act in defiance of everything they thought they knew. 
when Foundation personnel entered the containment cell to separate the two, 682 went ballistic and killed multiple guards. Why did they- they should have just left them alone. They should trap them together. They can both play with each other. You know, the- the little girl can draw on the hard to destroy reptile and they could just be left alone for all of eternity. Why would you try to break them up when it looked like they were having fun together? 682 went ballistic That's and like taking an iPad parts. away from a six-year-old child. also wept. They go ballistic. being separated from her new friend. To this day, despite further testing, the Foundation has no idea how or why this happened. Like many details surrounding SCP-682, it's shrouded in deeply frustrating mystery. And so the tale of SCP-682 continues, in spite of the Foundation's best efforts. The monster continues to breach containment and slaughter with some regularity, That's taking terrible. out its seemingly limitless hatred for not only human beings, but anything that dares no. draw breath. No! Not the dog! Nobody knows where exactly the creature is from. Good. It's a good thing they cut away, because that dog looked like it was in danger. What its true nature is, or why its ability to adapt and regenerate far exceeds any known organism on this planet. Perhaps one day, through enough research and cross-testing, we can someday answer these questions with scientific precision. But until then, we only have one answer. Hatred never dies. And that is the story of the most dangerous, strongest, invulnerable SCP.